because Eric Chang is a businessman. He's not any more half and half. Uh, I was never half and half. Oh, Just on the record, never half and half. Oh, you're laughing. Don't laugh. I was not. La I'm not laughing. Oh, I'm serious. Oh, okay. You call you call me half a fag. Yeah, I'm not half a fag. What? I'm 100 percent straight. I got a relationship with a girl. That's it. It's a solid thing that I have. I don't. I don't fuck around trying to find rats and this and that. Go go look for, go go try to fuck anything. I don't uh, you know want you know. Whatever. They boys know how to get that shit. Right. I don't have to do that stuff. You think because I don't have fucking 1998, 10 years, almost nine years ago, because I because I put because I'm concentrate all my energy in the wrestling business. You and you and you. I don't have time to for fucking girls. socialize. Oh. I missed out on a big portion of my life Why because I'm is? busy with my fuck you know you know you're my, sure my, my passion and my you know my love the wrestling business and taking care of you is. Almost a full time business, a full time job. He comes in. So I gotta pick him up at the airport. Okay. Got I, mean, I gotta have the beer, gotta have the cigarette, gotta gotta have every, all his all his needs. Everybody has all their wants and needs. I gotta have his wants and needs. I get him in the car after you know, God forbid I'm late to the airport. I get out of the car in front of cops, in front of everybody, in front of customers. You late, you no good, dumb son of a bitch, you're late. You know, where, where were you? You're my agents, you're fired. You know, whatever. You cocksucker. You know, it's like, Sheik, how are you? Calm down. No, no, you told me I calm down. You're late. You're no good. You're a son of a, you know. And we're, we're in the fucking baggage claim. He's making a scene. So then I get the cops around. Then I get the fucking cops that sometimes come. They want to fucking cuff him. So I gotta, I mean, he knows when to turn it down. Sometimes. Fine, but finally I get him in the car after he's all riled up. Then, hey baby, good to see you. You know it's a work. We gotta work the marks a little bit. Promoters, you know, promoters use the talents, and they're used to paying a certain price for for guys. If you raise the price, they're gonna say no. They'll go to somebody else and get them cheaper. They want to pay the price that they want to pay. So you gotta accommodate people. I mean, I'm trying to raise the price a little bit. I, I don't wanna, you know, I'm not gonna do it out of the ballpark, but you know. But don't you know, I want to? I want to tack an extra hundred, hundred fifty on just to, you know. I mean, we got a little. Now we have notoriety. We we have exposure. We're on Stern. We're on this. We're doing this. The price gotta come up just a little, just a little bit to certain people. And so when you see this now, stuff, but wait, wait a second, mm -hmm. wait a second. Yes. The people who have been good to us and been loyal to us and use the sheik on a regular basis and you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's good. You know, we honor the old price because they were with us back then. <clears throat> it's only the new people that have to get hit with the higher price. The people who've been loyal to us, we're loyal back to them. You know, it goes, it goes both ways. But don't, don't you go both ways. Maybe this is a theme today. I'm kidding. Um, but doesn't is doesn't this create a little more opportunity? Even the bad stuff that happens to the sheik, the, the heart troubles, the hospital. Don't you see this? It's all it opportunity. As some more people are going to come on board now because he's back in the news. You don't understand. Everybody wants to be on board with the Iron Sheik because the Iron Sheik is a gimmick. He's a colorful character. He's a personality. He's like fun to be with. Everybody likes when he does, you know, fuck the ass and no good Jew, dumb son of a bitch and, you know, what, whatever. All, all his, the catchphrases that he does. Everybody loves to hear that. It's funny. It's shocking. It's it's different. You don't see like a Nick Bockwinkle do that or or uh, or uh, like an Al Snow or, or a Greg Val. They just sit there and they sign. The Sheik's like the only, the Sheik's like exactly. the only, Sheik's the only one that's a kind of, Honky Tonk's a little like that. He's a little animated. New Jack's a little animated. These are the characters of the business. This is what makes the business good. He's Kajro Viziri that plays the character of the Iron Sheik. He thinks he's the Iron Sheik. He doesn't understand he's Kajro Viziri. You know? You know, it's like it's like Honky Tonk Man. He's Wayne Farris that plays the character of the Honky Tonk Man. You know, Kamala, he's James Harris that plays the, 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 the character of Kamala. You gotta know when to turn it on and turn it off. Now they say, you gotta, you gotta live your character in order to make it. And I agree with that to a point. You gotta live your character. But you gotta know when to turn it on and turn it off. This play, he don't know when to turn it on and turn it off. You know, I say the drunker he is, the more the, the the better he is. Even though that's almost like an oxymoron, because I don't want him drunk. But the drunker he is, the more fucked up he is. It's 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 not it's, it's magic. Like I say, moderation. Everything in moderation is good. When he goes past the moderation point, he gets really fucked up.